premise of the movie is set in the year 2067, when the Earth has turned into a barren land because of global warming. Oxygen and drinking water are only available to the wealthy. Because of the amount of carbon in the air, breathing out in the open is almost impossible. Houses and buildings are supplied with partially clean air, but outside them, people are required to wear masks to stay alive. A healthy human will suffocate in about five minutes if they do not wear a specialized oxygen mask. Oxygen, which once used to be a basic part of nature, has now turned into a product. Several million dollar companies manufacture artificial oxygen in bulk and sell it at an outrageous rate. Since only the rich can afford it, the government provides oxygen to the poor people at an affordable price. But such oxygen is not the best quality and can kill you with time. Most humans have fled to Mars with gallons of oxygen and water as people on Earth become more violent. Among all kinds of oxygen, natural oxygen, which can still be found in the Himalayas, is the most in demand. It is sold for millions and is even rarer than NFTs of cats. I mean, diamonds. A few years ago, people were so eager to acquire oxygen, it caused several murders and protests. The government has since banned the exploitation of natural oxygen strictly. Even the rich aren't allowed to trade or buy it. When the smuggling of such oxygen started, the government implemented a new rule according to which people aren't allowed to leave their houses after 6 p.m. Anyone who is seen in a public place during the curfew will be shot dead immediately. The protagonist of the movie is a 30-year-old man named Random Shukla. He was born in Mumbai, India in the year 2037. Because of the condition of the environment, he suffered from heart failure as soon as he took his first breath. Along with him, 43% of the infants born that year suffered from heart failure. They have been living with the help of an artificial heart pacemaker until now. Random has to always carry a bag with a device that is attached to his chest for the pacemaker to work. He claims that he has only heard the stories of the green and blue earth and believes it is just a myth. The man cannot imagine a world where oxygen is abundant and water is not a luxury. His job is to smuggle natural oxygen on a small scale. Because of the artificial heart, he is allowed to carry two cans of oxygen everywhere he goes, which helps him smuggle it. At the beginning of the movie, Random is woken up in his cell that he shares with several other workers. The government announces that the supply of oxygen to houses will be stopped for a short period of time in the morning. People are told to wear oxygen masks even when they are indoors during that period. It is a regular day for Random until his associate calls him to a meeting with a client named Yakub who is willing to pay them millions to smuggle two cans of natural oxygen. On a normal day, someone from the client's side comes to pick up the oxygen, but since the security has been tighter these days, Random has to put his life in danger and go to the client. He accepts the job instantly for the money. His ultimate goal is to collect enough money to go to Mars and start a new life. Random and his associate go to the ruins of a building to meet Yakub. He is a gangster and the biggest oxygen smuggler in Mumbai. The man has connections all over Mars and supplies the rich with pure Himalayan oxygen. Random tells him that he has a license to carry natural oxygen, so the job won't be difficult for him. Yakub's men tear his clothes to check if he is telling the truth. They are assured after seeing a blinking device attached to his chest. The boss offers them 10 million rupees each for the job, but Random bargains they should get at least 40 million rupees. Yakub, who is still unsure of Random's potential, challenges him to a match of arm wrestling. According to him, a smuggler needs courage more than a license to close a deal. The match starts, during which Yakub takes off his oxygen mask and makes Random do the same for a fair match. Soon, Random has trouble breathing and has to deliberately lose to be able to wear the mask again. Because he showed courage, an impressed Yakub agrees to give him 40 million. Now, Random has to bring two cans of natural oxygen to the other side of the checkpoint and hand it to a client from Mars named Shah. He has to return with the money before the evening curfew. 
If not, the deal will be considered unsuccessful, and both Random and his associate will be killed. In the following scene, Random is in the metro station, which is also the checkpoint. He holds cans of oxygen in his bag, which, if checked, will be exposed as illegal oxygen. Random is hoping that since he has a license, the security officer wouldn't go to the extra length to check the oxygen can. He is so nervous that he freezes when it is his turn to go in. Just like he had predicted, the officer doesn't check the cans and lets him go after scanning the license. He even advises Random to not lose his license, or he could end up in jail for the rest of his life. Sometime later, he reaches an apartment where the client, Shaw, is waiting for him. Shaw was flown to Mars when he was only five years old by his wealthy parents. He survives on high-quality artificial oxygen, which is still not as good as natural oxygen. Hence, the man is always keen on buying cans of natural oxygen. He has recently returned to Earth for the same reason. Random notices a glass full of water on the table. He cannot help but stare at the strange sight of clean water, which is usually reserved for wealthy people. Shaw offers it to him, which surprises Random. He doesn't accept the glass and gets straight to business instead. Shaw claims that residents of Mars only return to Earth for pleasure or for business. He is there for the former. Random gets the hint and brings out the cans of fresh oxygen. The oxygen was collected and packaged at 800 meters above sea level, making it non-toxic and 100% pure. Shaw inspects the cans and appears to be impressed by them. Yet, when Random asks for payment, he hesitates. The oxygen might have moisture mixed into it, which means he cannot pay without testing it first. Random replies that even if the oxygen has moisture, it is the last batch coming from the Himalayas. Soon, this kind will also not be available for purchase. He suggests the client use the opportunity wisely, but his words make Shaw suspect him even more. As the two get into a heated conversation, Shaw mentions that the Earth is about to shake violently very soon. Just as he says that, the coffee table starts shaking. Random notices that the table is actually a box that has something or someone inside of it. The two do not acknowledge the shaking and continue the bargain. They do not go on for long before the box moves again. Random had come to end the deal without violence, but seeing that the client doesn't want to pay, he brings out a gun. However, Shaw is not someone who backs up. He too points a gun at Random. While Random is nervous, Shaw appears to be excited. He claims that his life on Mars was boring, and their conversation is giving him an adrenaline rush. In a split second, Random shoots the man in the forehead and kills him. He had realized that only one of them could walk away alive, so he took the only opportunity that he had. Following that, he opens the box that had been moving and is surprised to see a girl inside of it. She is tied up and gagged and seems to have been kidnapped. Unsure what she is capable of doing, he points his gun at her as well. The girl freezes in shock but is relieved when he frees her hands. Random threatens her to stay low and keep quiet because he doesn't want to have to kill her. As they talk, the girl reveals that the man who Random just killed is not Shaw. The real Shaw's dead body lies in the bedroom. It turns out that the man Random was talking to until now was pretending to be Shaw to stall him. He was actually a hitman who had killed Shaw moments before. The girl also reveals that the hitman was about to smuggle her to Mars before Random arrived. Random knows that if he returns to Yakub without the money, he will end up dead. Hence, he looks around the house and finds several gallons of clean water. He almost doesn't believe the treasure before him. He wants to smuggle them out, but the containers have an inbuilt security system, which means if someone tries to take them out of the building without a passcode, the police will be alerted. Right then, it is announced that the evening curfew has been implemented. Random's deal has failed, so he is bound to be killed if he returns home. He has to quickly think of a way to run away from the city before Yakub finds him. Somewhere else, Yakub is impatiently waiting for his arrival. When he is notified that the curfew is in action, he takes off Random's friend's oxygen mask and eventually kills the man by suffocating him. 
Back in the apartment, Random asks the girl about her true identity. She introduces herself as Perry and claims that she is a refugee who was bought by Shaw. He planned to take her to Mars as his mistress, but as soon as she arrived there, the hitman killed Shaw and held her hostage. As the two talk, Random's artificial heart alerts him of overheating. Perry realizes that she is making him nervous, which makes him blush even more. When asked what she wants to do now, Perry claims that she will travel the world. Weirdly enough, she keeps repeating the same thing as her voice turns more and more robotic. Random asks her if she is fine and soon realizes that she is just a robot who has been programmed to think she is a human, just like your narrator. Perry malfunctions and turns her power off and Random is left all alone. He plans to run away as soon as the curfew is lifted. A few hours later, he breathes in the exclusive oxygen out of curiosity. It doesn't go well because the whiff of clean oxygen makes him pass out. When he wakes up the next morning, Yakub and his people are standing in front of him. They tie him to a chair, assuming that he killed Shaw for the gallons of water. Random tries to explain what actually happened, but Yakub doesn't believe him. His men do not notice the security system attached to the water containers and start to carry them to the elevator. Yakub leaves Random tied to a chair so he would be arrested for killing Shaw and the hitman. However, as they try to walk away with the water, an alarm rings, alerting the police. Just then, Perry switches on and unties Random's hands. The police catch Yakub and his gang. Since they only care about the gallons of water being smuggled, they do not bother to search for Random and Perry. In the end, the pair manages to escape through a secret passage. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.